Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to sand a finished surface after you have used polyurethane. So uh, here's a tabletop. We've applied a few coats of sprayable polyurethane. So it's right here. This is the triple thick polyurethane uh, spray on, so it's much easier than brushing. They say one coat is equal to three coats so I wanted this tabletop to have an extra solid finish, so I put three coats on. And then after the third coat, uh, now we need to make it smooth, and then we will finish it off with one final coat. And so a lot of people use a very fine, like 220 grit sandpaper. Uh, the trouble is sometimes when that happens, you end up with really fine scratches in the table surface, and then when you put that final coat of polyurethane on, you get little bubbles. And, and that's not good, because you, you don't want little bubbles on your table. And so what we're gonna do to solve that problem is sand it in such a way that it makes this feel as smooth as glass. And so right now, uh, it's a little rough. We've got a little rough from the three coats of poly that we put on, which is really supposedly nine coats. So this is gonna be extra solid. Uh, there won't be any um, kids doing homework and, and scratches through the paper or anything like that. It's going to be a solid finish. And so what we're going to do is get a paper bag. You can just get a little lunch sack like this, put your hand inside of it, and we are going to rub this down with the paper bag. So simply like this. That's it. Four or five times across. And now all of a sudden, this is as smooth as glass and it is ready for the next coat. You can see, I can feel it right here. You can't feel it through the camera, but you can kind of see how, look at, you can see it a little bit on the camera. This is perfectly smooth. And then right here, it, you can see it just looks kind of dull. And that's all the bumps on there. So what we're gonna do is take this bag. And now you can see the finish is just so much more straight across. If you don't believe me, go look at the playback because this is a lot more smooth and, and it's not as dull as it was two seconds ago before the bag. So that is what you can do. Get a paper bag after your polyurethane and rub it on the top to smooth out that final finish. And then you can just spray on your final coat of poly for an excellent, excellent finish. So if you have any questions, please comment below. The materials for this are very inexpensive, a paper lunch sack or a paper grocery bag, a shopping bag. I like to use the small lunch sack here because then you can simply put your hand inside it and, and go to town. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I also hope you liked this video. Please do so by clicking that like button and also subscribe to the channel. And in addition, please let me know in the comments below uh, if it worked for you and how well it worked for you, if you have any questions about the polyurethane that you're using, etc., I would be happy to help. Thank you.